Alright, so I'm going to be showing you how to use the new Winpone 2.0. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is if you have any previous versions of Winpone installed, you're going to want to uninstall those first. Uh, to do that, let's go to the Start menu, then you'll go to uh, Control Panel, then Uninstall Program. And uh, if you're on Windows XP, it'd be Start, Control Panel, then Add Remove Program. You also have to have iTunes version 7.7 .7 installed. And there will be a couple other files you need to install or uh, have downloaded. You can get them from my website iPodTouch.net. Um, I'll have a link to the guide that has all the downloads in the About section of this video. Um, you're obviously going to need to download Wimpone. And you're also going to need uh, the firmwares. Uh, I have the iPod firmware or 2.0 firmware on my site along with the uh, first generation iPhone firmware and the uh, 3G iPhone firmware. And also if you plan on unlocking your iPhone, uh, you also need the bootloader files. I'll have those on here. Uh, currently you cannot unlock the 3G iPhone. So I just want to make that clear. So after you install Winpone, First thing you want to do is click on browse.ipsw. You're going to want to select the firmware that you want to uh, pwn. I'm going to uh, be doing my uh, iPhone as the first generation. So go ahead and select your uh, firmware and click open. See, it's telling me to make sure and connect my iPhone. Uh, I do have it plugged in and connected. Now at this point, what you want to do is click IPSW Builder. And you want to select uh, Install Cydia and uh, YouTube Activation Fix. If you have a legitimate contract with your iPhone carrier, do not select the YouTube Activation Fix. Next thing is uh, this is iPhone only so if you have iPod touch don't worry about this you don't have the advanced tab but if you're on an iPhone once again if you have a legitimate contract with your iPhone carrier like AT&T you're going to want to uncheck activate iPhone but if you do want to unlock your iPhone or activate it I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave activate phone checked Go ahead and select No Wipe. And if you're on a, a 3G iPhone, you will not be able to select any of the rest of these features. Because like I mentioned earlier, you um, aren't able to unlock the 3G iPhone just yet. But if you have a first generation iPhone that you want to unlock, go ahead and select Enable Baseband Update, Neuter Bootloader 3.9-4.6. And then unlock baseband. Now these are the minimum that you need to select in order to unlock. You can select if you want to upload your bootloader. Um, you also need to uh, load your bootloader files. So we'll go ahead and do that. You can get these from my website as well. I'll do the 4.6 now. Okay, now at this point, you can click on a custom image. We'll go ahead and uh, click Use Custom Pictures. Now at this point, go ahead and uh, you can leave these default if you'd like, or if you have some that you'd like to add, click on Boot Logo. I have uh, actually have some on my website if you want to download them. Go to iPodTouch.net. And select boot logos. I have a whole bunch on here. All you need to do is just uh, left click on it. It'll take you to another page, then right click, and then do save image as. And then just save it to your uh, desktop or wherever you want to save it to. So I'm going to go ahead and select my uh, boot image. And select that one I just saved. And select your uh, restore logo. Okay, 
And now at this point, once you're done, you're going to click uh, build.ipsw. Now you want to select which folder you want to save your uh, custom firmware to. I'm just going to do it to my desktop. Then click save. It says I already have one. I'm going to go ahead and just overwrite it. Now at this point, it'll begin to uh, build your uh, firmware. I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and I'll come back when it's done creating the firmware. Alright, it has finished uh, creating the custom firmware. At this point, just click OK. Now you want to open up uh, iPoner. Just click on that. And now you want to select the custom firmware that you just created. Make sure it's the custom one that you just created. Do not load the standard firmware because it will not work. So I'm going to select my custom firmware, then open. At this point, says iTunes has been pwned. You can see if you had iTunes open, it is now shut down. Click OK. Now at this point, what you want to do is put your iPod or iPhone into DFU mode. To do that, hold your home button and your power button simultaneously for 10 seconds. After the 10 seconds are up, let go of the power button, but continue to hold the home button. We'll do that right now. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. 6 1000, 7 1000, 8 1000, 9 1000, 10 1000. Let go of the power, continue to hold the home button. Just keep holding it until uh, it connects back to iTunes. You can let go of the home button at this point. As you can see, it says that the uh, iPhone is in recovery mode. Click OK. Now at this point all you need to do is just hold down the shift button and click restore. And then you will go and select the custom firmware that you just created. Click open. Now it does take quite a while to restore to uh, firmware 2.0. Just be uh, very patient. And there's the uh, custom boot logo I had uh, selected when we build the uh, custom firmware. But uh, just go ahead and let it restore. Don't touch anything. Uh, like I said, it does take a while to restore, but just be patient. I mean, I'll come back when the... Uh... Alright, the iPhone is finished restoring. iPhone's done restoring. You can see it's uh, boot, no boot neuter was running. It's booting up for the first time. It just it took me about five or six minutes for uh, it to restore. If you're wondering how long it takes, uh, of course, you have a slower computer, it'll take you longer. Now it's going to ask you to uh, set up your iPhone. It's going to ask you to either uh, set up as a new iPhone or iPod or restore from a backup. I'll go ahead and uh, just restore from a backup. You can see now it's restoring from backup. Tell you that the restore is in progress. I'll uh, pause the video and come back once it's done. Uh, restoring.